Every 6-8 pattern I've ever played on bongo has been an adaptation of an Afro-Cuban rhythm or a drum beat, like for a blues rock or R&B tune. So I wanted to share a few patterns that work for a lot of different 6-8 styles. 6-8 refers to the time signature or meter we're playing in. It has six beats per measure, and the eighth note equals one beat. But with 6-8, particularly with various popular dance music genres, we feel a dotted quarter note pulse that creates a sort of waltz feel for some styles. The Afro-Cuban styles that have the same pulse get it from African dance drum music. And although I love talking about this stuff, I want to get into the bongo rhythms, but I thought it was important to mention this stylistic aspect of the 6-8 meter. This is a good pattern to start off with because it's sort of the boom whack of slow blues six eight. It's a pattern that works with a lot of pop, rock, country, blues, or folk songs. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. And if you want all access to the Rhythm Notes lesson library, go to patreon.com forward slash rhythm notes to join for access to dozens of PDFs. The touches in between the open tones on the embra and macho are important, but they're not as critical as the open tones. So play them. But only to the extent that they are not a distraction Squirrel. from the way the groove should sound and feel. These next few examples are variations on the previous one. Notice that each example changes just one thing about the groove to make it different. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This pattern is Afro-Cuban to the extent that I adapted some weirdo parts and began to mess around with them. That's the cool thing about learning traditional Afro-Cuban parts. They work great for the instrument and for layering rhythm parts. Then just adjust it to fit the song and make it your own. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some of the things you may want to play around with include accenting the second embra open tone or 
leaving out the first macho. These small changes are particularly effective when you're playing with other rhythm section instruments, especially drum set, because simplifying the rhythm and staying away from the stronger pulsed beats gives you a chance to stand out in the mix and be a vital part of the groove. That was a mouthful, I know. But these things are the things that make the difference, I promise. Rumba Colombia is also an Afro-Cuban style, but I really like the drum conversation and use it on drum set, funk and R&B conga patterns, and bongo for this demo. One of the things that came out of jamming on this groove was this open tone accent on the dotted quarter note pulse with the left hand. It glued the groove together and also reminds me of like bembe and bata drumming rhythms. And it's just so simple, which I think the older I get, the more I appreciate a simple part that sounds interesting more than anything flashy or choppy. I guess I learned that from Ringo Starr growing up and listening to the Beatles. Yeah, I need to do uh, a Ringo video for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're interested in more bongo videos, check out this one right here. And if you want access to dozens of PDFs on the Rhythm Notes lesson library, click or tap the Patreon link over here.